Hello everybody, we are here playing Dead Space. Um, I played this game like the OG one maybe a couple months ago on my Twitch channel, uh, but now we are playing the remake on my Twitch channel, but I'm also posting this to YouTube. So if you're watching this now, you got me on YouTube. I hope you guys enjoy. We're gonna hop right in and uh, yeah, just have a good time. All right, we get to do the settings. So, um, ch -ch -ch -ch. subtitles, we want the subtitles on. Difficulty, I mean, I guess we're just gonna do medium difficulty, yeah? Just a good old normal playthrough. Can we do story, guys? Can we do story? Uh, content warning. No, I don't care. More settings. Ooh, yes. Um, controls. So I do have the DualSense Edge now, so I'm probably going to adjust the controls a little bit as we get in to make things a little more nice for me. I do like how these menus are like just like this exact same as, uh, as they used to be. Same audio, like the same audio cues and everything. No, you may not play story. You've already played this once. Time to turn up the difficulty, sir. Uh, no. <laughs> I want to enjoy this game. I don't want to suffer, man. I mean, I'm going to suffer either way. Uh, performance mode. Yes, we want performance mode. So here's what I'm thinking. Uh, we played the Callisto Protocol, and we weren't very scared by it. I was not scared by it that much. I'm curious if this game is going to scare me more. Um, I don't know. Turn up the difficulty. Guys, I'm just going to be dying. Oh my gosh. Impossible. Same damage setting is hard, but auto saves are disabled. Only one save slot is available and one life? Oh my, no. Oh, I got to change it back. No, we're doing medium. You guys can get over it. Oh my goodness, just put it on normal. Starting on impossible, then once I die, I'm gonna bump it down to hard. Oh my word. I'll do like a new game plus on impossible. How about that? Okay, so I can't see it there and I can see it there. I feel like that's a pretty big jump in brightness. I'm taking a shot for every death, dude. You're gonna be dead. You're gonna be absolutely wasted. If I did that, I would be too drunk to function. Oh, here we go. You guys let me know how the audio sounds, if I need to turn the game up, if I need to turn myself down. I think it's me. Oh, I wish I could talk to you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about everything. We all hate Nicole. Oh, I just wish I could talk to someone. It's all falling apart here. I can't believe what's happening. Yeah. All me and my homies hate Nicole. Strange. Such a little thing. That's her? Nicole? Yeah. First deferred from her in weeks. We're five minutes out, you still got that thing on repeat? Totally, who's Nicole? Nicole's the, the chick that was just talking on the camera. Down, but six months apart with only vid calls. It's rough. Easy yeah, to what up, Rebecca? I don't blame you. I'd listen to my girlfriend over Hamlin reciting security protocols. Should I turn off the lights, guys? So you keep saying. Here we go. Nice clean re-entry. Oh, dude, my controller's vibrating like crazy right now. Did you just uh, imagine six months staring at that chunk of rock? To an independent miner, that's paradise. Aegis Seven is one of the richest finds in CEC history. Some prospecting team set up for life. Where is she? You should. We should turn off the lights. There. Confirming visual contact with USG Ishimura. What a beauty. Biggest planet cracker in her class, you know. And it looks like they already popped the cork. Why is it so dark? We should be able to see her running lights. Yeah. I'll get us into hailing range. Someone's got to be waiting out for us. Just be careful on the approach. I'm not taking any chances with the CEC's pride and joy. All right, my my no controller is not working. Is that what my remote's not working. Oh, turn the other one back on. You track your file access. Is this dark enough for you guys? Comes with the job. I mean, it's, the lights are still technically on, but. You want to work in the big leagues? You have to play ball. Sir, we're in ailing range. It's much darker now. USG Ishimura, 
This is the emergency maintenance team of the USG Kelly responding to your distress call. All right, is Isaac a good looking guy or no? Ishimura, do you copy? Come in. This is the USG Kelly. You ever hear of a full communications black on one of these things? Never. They made him so young. Someone yeah. Pick up the damn phone. They did. Rebecca, is he hot or not? Uh, sounds like their communication array is busted. Oh, the cold Maybe, uh, broken encoder. Daniels and I can handle it in 48 hours, Max. Hey, that gives you plenty of time to catch up with Nicole. Yeah, I hope so. Jen, Johnson, take us in. Got a haircut today, so I had to trim my beard to match. Did you guys see that video that I sent in the Discord the other day? Where I got a haircut? And I also had to trim my beard, but... <laughs> He's not my type, but he's not ugly. Okay. You know, Isaac, Isaac looks like, uh, hear me out here. He looks like a podiatrist, a foot doctor. Good call on the stabilizer, Isaac. That I always read the manual. What the fuck's going on with flight control? That guidance system's a death trap. Better add it to your repair list. Jen, what's our damage? Calm her down. We lost poor booster. Got a fire in one of the stabilizers. I can't move. Singularity cores of mess. Could be worse, but not by much. Then let's get some help. Johnston, stay with the Kelly. We'll send a medic. He looks like a guy that would really be into feet. Am I wrong? I, I'm not wrong. I know I'm not wrong. He just... Absolutely. Dude, are you staying on the ship? Oh my gosh. The sounds... The sounds are so familiar. Crap, we came down hard. Not a free All right, I can't sprint. I can't do anything here. Oh, what's this? Is this a collectible? Ah, a text log. Should we read all the text logs? I'm not going to read it. But uh, for those of you on YouTube who want to read it, you can pause it as I scroll down. Oh, hold on. No, this is talking about the church. I actually do want to read this. Um, per your request, here's what we could find on these specialists they sent for repair of the mission. Isaac Clark. Isaac was born uh, to blah, blah, blah on Earth in the eastern seaborne region of the American Republic. Uh, his dad was an award-winning ship architect employed by the Galactic Union Merchant Marine Corp. Uh, his records show extended time off-world away from his family. When Isaac was born, his dad was given temporary uh, resignment to an Earth-based Gumpk ship production facility. During the four-year tour, uh, they raised Isaac together. When the tour was over, he shipped off for an extended off-world tour. Um, influence on his son must have rubbed off. Records indicate Isaac pursued studies in mechanical and electrical engineering and achieved high honors. According to medical and psychiatric reports, uh, his absence had a profound effect on his wife, I don't know how to say their names, so I'm just not going to say them. Um, she suffered from depression and personal anguish until doctors encouraged her to find fulfillment by working with charitable organizations. It's believed that this is how she ended up coming in contact with the Church of Unitology. This is what I'm interested in, is the Church of Unitology. This stuff is really interesting. At first, her association with the church appeared uh, to alleviate her mental condition. The cancellation of her therapy sessions corresponded with the local parish announcement of her initiation ceremony. Uh, there's indication that she sold off much of the family estate to finance full membership in the church and her soul cleanse. They required to enter uh, they required to enter the higher ranks. Isaac appears to have been selected to prominent engineering school, but we surmise that he was unable to afford the tuition as records show that he instead attended a lesser known school to help with the scholar... Okay, with help with scholarship and stuff. Isaac definitely liked toes. Likes toes, confirmed. <laughs> After graduating with high honors, 
Oh, I mean, he has high honors, so he might be an... Yeah, absolutely. He quickly gained reputation for his resourcefulness, engineering solutions, and after two years was promoted to a higher p profile position closer to the major shipping lanes. Isaac's career stagnates at this point. Uh, this would coincide with uh, psychiatric reports that his mother's mental health was deteriorating, and the bank records show payments to a psychiatric facility for treatment. This seems to be where Isaac met a medical officer and neuropsychiatrist uh, neuropsychiatrist named Nicole Brennan. So Nicole's who we're here after. This is my my space girlfriend that's trapped here. Um, and her name appears on Octavia's physician's roster. The two of them ended up co cohabiting. Go cohabit. I don't know why that word's hard for me. Until Brennan accepted promotion and left to serve on the USG Ishimura. Uh, his return. His dad's return from an extended tour coincided with Octavia's release from the hospital. Whatever his assignment was, Paulos, Paul, I think it's Pauls, Pauls, we'll say Pauls. Paul's service records remain mysteriously classified by executive order, and unless he confided in Isaac, he took his secrets to the grave. The next records we have are Octavia's notices for both Paul's and Octavia's. With their body, their bodies were willed to the custody of the Church of Unitology, along with the Clark's entire estate. Apparently, on Octavia's wishes, Isaac repeated petitions to have his parents' bodies returned seem to have been ignored. Since the church refuses any inquiries related to its members, their cause of death is unknown. Overall, Isaac more than Isaac's more than qualified to handle a job like the Shimura. I'd talk politics over religion, though. Kendra Daniels. Wow, all of that was about Isaac. Nothing about Kendra. Couldn't find anything on her in the time you gave me, but Darleton swears by her. Apparently, she's on the mission with his recommendation. If he thinks that this was what it takes, who am I to argue? Okay. That was a lot, guys, but we did learn a lot about Isaac that I never knew before. Um, so, I, I'm, I'm just going to say it. I'm going to predict that I'm going to be less scared of this game. 30 minutes and we're still talking. Leave me alone. I, I was reading. I'm going to predict that we're going to be less scared of this game uh, than I was of Dead Space 2. I mean, I've already played through this game, but still. Oh, these poor guys were waiting on me the whole time. Isaac, guess we better go. Guess we better go. No, 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 no. Interesting. At least we didn't take out the sun. USG Ishimura. Yeah, poor Isaac really need. He's got some back problems, right? So, are we in agreement that if this, since this game is doing so well, that they're gonna? Oh, that dude just stuck his gun through the thing there. They should have. Interesting. Are we in agreement that since this game is doing well, they're gonna make remake the second one, which would be awesome. And then maybe they should just reinvent the third one since it's kind of the worst one evidently hello oh you refilled my health bar Synced. collect kinesis and stasis modules from acting chief engineer jacob temple location Error. location wow 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 i can't read security same for the chief engineer what is wrong with their comms Dude, these guys are they crash landed onto the ship and they're just moving on like nothing's wrong. Oh guys, I forgot about this. We can do our little uh, hand thing and it'll tell us where to go. That's awesome. I love that. Where's the stompy button? Totally normal. Yeah, they Someone walk into here. Worry. All right, if I walk into this room and I see everything like trashed like this and a baby doll sitting right here, that's a red flag. For God's sake. That security console is still working. Isaac, get a damage report. I'm done playing around. There we go. Look at that. There's all sorts of red flags. Something on the floor here. Seth? I, I need that damage report. There's something on the floor here. 
Oh, look at that. Just blood. Oh, there's something red on the floor here. Oh, I don't know what it could be. Scan rig to unlock workstation. Uh, here we go. Oh, I remember this. Dude, this game starts fast. Oh, God, that smell. What have you got, Isaac? Shit. It's not just comms with the guidance system. Half the Ishimura's in the red. Engines, hull, the tramps. Could do that kind of damage to a planet cracker. Okay, got power. Ventilation's up. Power to the elevator. Carry tow. Yeah, I forgot how in, how intense this game starts. Another malfunction? No. The quarantine systems are all fine. Wait. Do you hear that? Yeah. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah, yeah, I hear it. Yeah, man. Take it easy. Thank you for the lurk, Kylar. I feel the waiting game. I totally feel that. Dude, I'm just, I'm just chilling in here. Like, yo, what up? Something bad's going on. Oh. I want that guy's gun. Oh, I'm supposed to run. Oh, I don't think I'm running fast enough, guys. My dog is twitching below me right now, and it's kind of scaring me when he twitches. Maddox, I bro, this was one of my first 360 games back in the day. Dude, so I repl I played this for the first time a little over a year ago. The OG. Hey, yo, mamma mia. Um, yeah, I played this for the first time a little over a year ago, and uh, I'm also very excited about this. It's, it looks just so beautiful. This might be one of the best looking games on current consoles. Who goes onto a ship that's mysteriously been damaged without any weapons? Cough, Isaac, cough. I know, right? It's like, he should have known better, right? <clears throat> My dog is sleeping right now and he's twitching hardcore and uh, got off their limbs. Oh man, I remember this so well. Let's get our plasma cutter. Yeah, and and the thing is, he this isn't even a weapon. This is just this is just a plasma cutter. Yeah, I heard it's perfect remake, no cut content, and good additions. Yes, that's what I've heard as well, and like I'm all about it. RE4 remake also has no cut content. Yeah, they learned their they learned their lesson after RE3 remake, cutting stuff from RE3. So I'm I'm happy for that. Um, what up, bloody? How are you? All right, so punch is R1, stomp is R2. Oh, oh man. Oh. I gotta say, guys, playing this, I honestly really loved... Um, I still really loved Callisto Protocol. I think Callisto Protocol was great, but some people, I understand why they didn't like it. All right. Like if Isaac would, I would have, if I was Isaac, I would have been strapped to the teeth. Yeah, no joke, right? Look at this guy. Oh God, I'm real bad. What up, dude? Brother, chill. Oh man, I'm real bad at aiming. Come on, give me some stuff. There we go. I did too. Clisto was like a mid game, but I really liked it. Honestly, that was one of my favorite games last year. It was my favorite horror game from last year. Aim negative one hundred. Hey man, I didn't get to, I didn't get to see the perk selection screen before I started this. Um, Callisto was good. It wasn't scary to me. I did not get scared by Callisto Protocol that much. Um, but it was good. Like, um, but that, that's again, my question now is, am I going to be scared by this game? Um, I don't know. I've already played it, but I was terrified by it the first time that I played it. Um, I don't know. Just finished watching Demon Slayer. How are you doing? I'm doing great, bloody. 
Um, I'm very excited about this game. We're definitely going to be playing this through. Um, it's it's going to be a good time. I love stomping on people. Oh my god, I just punted him across the room! That was awesome! This game's so pretty, bro. They nailed the cold metallic spacing. They did. It's something like... How industrial, but also... <laughs> oh my god, I... Oh, that's so loud. They're everywhere. Shen, is he, uh... He's gone. Nothing I could do. They changed Kendra to make her more likable, and I like that. Some of them were wearing Ishimura uniforms. They're the crew? How the hell can they be the crew? Look at them. Thank you for the bits, Kirito. There's a thousand people on board. Someone will be there. We can't. The tram system's wrecked. Everything's locked down because of the quarantine. And you're both repair techs. So how do we do this? Um, There's a broken tram car block I'll continue my thought after they stop talking. System, and the data board's burned out. I can't lift the lockdown or call the tram until we get a spare from the maintenance bay. But it's all on Isaac's side of a quarantine. I'll handle it. Just make sure there's power to the repair systems. And Isaac? Yeah? I'm sure Nicole's okay. She's the doctor, right? She'll do the smart thing. Yeah. Yeah, she always does. Find somewhere safe. I'll be back soon. All right, you got a lurk. I'm getting hyped to play this, and this game is stacked with games. It is. Thank you for the lurk, Kylar. I will catch you around, dude. Um, Sucker for Blood and Games, and this is perfect. Yeah, I like gory games. Like, I don't know what it is. I like gory games, but I was thinking earlier of, like, when I was a kid... I got a, my hands on a copy. I think I was like, what, nine when the first one came out? Maybe I was seven. I don't remember. I got my hands on a copy when I was like 10, 12. And I played not even up to this point. I played until I found the first monster, which I guess was like that room back there. And I said, no, I'm scared. I'm scared. I can't do anymore. <laughs> and then I stopped. Um... And this game had, like, built up in my head for years that it was just the most terrifying game ever made. Um, and then when I played it a couple years back, it, it was pretty scary. I'll give it to him. But I am curious if it is going to be scary now. I'm curious how scared I'm actually going to be. Um, hopefully a lot. So we've got the cargo hall and baggage, and then we have the tram tunnel. Oh, I remember that. We have to get stasis and freeze that. So we can't do anything there. We gotta go this way. My back hurts. I need someone to crack my spine like a whip. What? Petition for Colleen to play Outlast. So, funny story, Kirito. Outlast was the first full horror game I ever played. Um, and then I, I, I played it in undergrad with like a room full of my... Like my me and my roommates. We all played it together. Like I had the sticks and we were just all there like freaking out at the same time um it was great cut off limbs to kill enemies quickly dismembering and dismember enemies to slow them down huh i wonder why it's giving me this tip in this long hallway um but yeah outlast was one of the first games that i played uh first horror games that i played and i had a great time with it and then outlast 2 just didn't do it for me My boys and I did that. Yeah, absolutely. We we were losing our minds, Kirito. 100%. Oh, I forgot. Okay, so they added this in the game. It is, you can either choose to turn off the lights or like uh, turn off like something. You have to turn off one thing to turn on another thing, right? Um, and it really makes you like weigh your choices. I'm curious, what is the other option here? Maintenance bay, cargo hall storage. Ooh, I want to see what's in the cargo hall storage. Uh, man, I still can't believe Demon Slayer Tanjiro. Ooh. I didn't like that. He's going to pop out somewhere. I just don't know where. They do a real good job about that.
I got my eyes on you. Oh, he didn't come out where I expected him to. There's only one entrance to this room. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yep. I'm scared. <laughs> They've already done it. They've already made me scared. Just the way these things are elusive and they like pop out. Um, got mauled to, to hell and back. Oh, bloody. <laughs> I, I don't know how big of a spoiler that is for, uh, for Demon Slayer. Um, uh, my boys, uh, yeah, we were like 14 minutes of time. I ordered my food like an hour ago to prepare for stream and it still hasn't been picked up yet. Pain. Oh, uh, heartbeat monitor. Good call, Kirito. I think that is a great call. All right. Um, okay. So that one thing, that one necromorph never came for me. I kind of expected him to come munch on me, but he didn't. Corvo loves heart monitors. He does. He does. Save station. I wish there was just like a quick button where you could save and you didn't have to go into this screen all the time. Um, but no. <clears throat> yeah. Just trying to make sure I'm not freaking out too much. Uh, wow. Don't bother shooting those fuckers in the head. Doesn't even slow them down. Okay. The only way is hacking them apart. Those arms, their legs. Did that even kill them? Or did they just stop moving? So, here's the question, guys. There is a trophy for completing this game with only the plasma cutter. Should I do it? Should I try to do that this playthrough? Because I, I honestly use the plasma cutter more than... Oh, God. He scared me. Get away from me! Jeez. Oh my gosh, I'm hurt, guys. Um, how difficult are the other trophies? Are you gonna even shoot for plat? One of them is to get it done like the hardest difficulty. See, I want, I think I want to do the platinum on this game because really, it's really not that long of a game. Um, and there's one for completing it with on New Game Plus, there's one for doing, I think, the hardest difficulty, and there's one for, um, there's one for doing it with only the plasma cutter. So my thought is, if I do it with just the plasma cutter this time, then in the New Game Plus, I'll, I'll have everything kind of upgraded to make New Game Plus a little easier. And then I'll do the hardest difficulty on New Game Plus. But I don't know. Because what I kind of wanted to do was Dude, the, the music in this makes it so much worse than it needs to be. Uh, what I kind of wanted to do was uh, get the Platinum in this and get the Platinum, since I already have the Platinum in Callisto Protocol, and kind of like, just so I can have like a good comparison because they're very like comparable games, right? Did I go the wrong way? What's this down here? Do, do, do. Oh, it's an elevator. Okay. Something's rolling around somewhere and it's making me nervous. Um, I mean, I would do that. Make the enemies a little easier if the weapons are upgraded. Yeah, so I can upgrade the weapons. What did I... What? Did I go the wrong way the entire time? I think I went the wrong way. Totally went the wrong way. 